All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. I am excited that we are doing the December energy update because, gosh, this one is a nice one. It's not explosive like November was. We were really stepping into an energy that is happy, uh, joyful, and lighter. If I could emphasize it that way, I would say this is a lighter energy than what we saw in November. So remember, November brought in with it explosive energy, again, to shake up, shake down, reconfigure things that we needed to reconfigure in our lives and in the collective. And so that was amplified by the energy of the eclipses that we saw. Uh, anytime we move through eclipse energy, that's going to be a big change up of things, of frequency, of, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we are now on the other side of that. We have made it through it. So first of all, I want to say to each and every one of you listening, congratulations for moving through that energy. For some, that energy was probably just very empowering. And if that's the case for you, that's fantastic. And I give you a lot of credit for that. That means that you have gotten a lot of your work done already, right? And for others, that energy was very chaotic, very revealing. Uh, we talked about it on Spirit Coffee Talk, about it being like an ego death of sorts, confronting old layers of ourselves that we needed to see in order to then choose to change and transmute them. And that's not easy work. That's, that's confronting, that's revealing, and we have to be vulnerable with ourselves. And so that's not an easy thing to do. But many of you have done that. You guys looked at what was being mirrored back at you. And that's what allows us to really embrace these new energies of December, which is lighter. So let's talk about that first. Let's, let's talk about this energy. This is allowing us the opportunity now to recalibrate. So to renew our sense of self, to refuel our beings by, you know, coming full circle from something. Many of you may have experienced uh, closures and releases of sorts, which then frees up your energy now to, you know, create new things. So along with this lighter energy, this joyful, happy energy, we're seeing a beautiful energy of creation. And a lot of that comes from the fact that we created space for it in the first place. So definite recalibration. We're also going to notice this month where we got big energy upgrades because of the chaos that we went through in November. So you will start to see things come to fruition within yourself where you have had greater energetic upgrades. Now for some people, those upgrades came through illness. There was a big explosion of illness that rattled a lot of families throughout November. Now, the one thing with illness is when we bring consciousness into that experience, we also get to come out with more awareness, a higher vibrational frequency, which then allows us to transmute more things, to also create more things because we've received essentially an upgrade. It's kind of like burned off old layers of cellular frequencies that we don't need anymore and we are coming out upgraded. That's not just limited to the illness that we've experienced though, that's also come through all the awareness of what you were triggered with and all of that. So noticeable energy upgrades, we will see that. And you might even notice energetic upgrades in how you deal with things now this month too. Uh, things that maybe used to trigger you, when you see them come up now, you're like, oh, nah, <laughs> not interested, or you know that story doesn't apply to me anymore or it just may not even phase you. It might not even register, and that's a really cool thing. Now, the other thing that we're gonna be seeing with this joyful energy is this increased movement in consciousness. And Spirit was saying one of the greatest ways that we will observe this is not only in our own consciousness, but in the things others say to us, in the way that we observe other people's actions we're going to see an increased level of consciousness in the people around us. That doesn't mean everybody will be. Uh, if you're lucky enough, maybe everybody in your circle will, in fact, do that. But you will notice people embracing different levels of consciousness about a topic, a situation, or something that they didn't have before. And so Spirit is really encouraging us to recognize that because it helps feed our souls back with the knowledge and the awareness that yes, in fact, things are changing for the better. 
And so they're saying in this case here, we can notice the incoming consciousness in our external environment, in our external relationships, which is really helping to pave the way for more beautiful, embodied, harmonious relationships. And that's not all just romantic ones, as I've talked about before, but this is also in different partnerships of all kinds, business, family, community, all of that. So notice what's being shown to you externally because these are good things, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to be seeing in December too is a greater intuitive sense of self. Now, this is connected to the upgrades. This is connected to the triggers that we've had. We now have a deeper intuitive sense of self. That is something that gives us that feeling of grounding and stability. When we know more who we are, we have a better sense of where we are in the world, where we are in our life journey, how we wish to interact and what we don't want to interact with. And so this deeper sense of self allows for a deeper sense of intuitive self, meaning a greater ability for you to intuit, feel into the energies of situations, of people, but also your connection with spirit. And so that's why I really want to take this piece specifically is your connection with spirit is increasing exponentially. And we've been talking about that happening in dream state, but this is, this is moving even further from that spirit is going to mm, kind of step into our reality more and more. So the way you may notice that is increased signs and symbols, increased number patterns like we've talked about. Um, some of you may hear spirit a little bit more. Your dream state may become very specific or you may become very interactive in your dream state as well with your guides, with past family, family members or loved ones. But this deeper intuitive sense of self is allowing you to have greater and clearer communication with spirit. So this is a beautiful thing and, and it's also a really nice thing to happen at this time of year. You know, we're approaching Christmas for many people that celebrate Christmas. We're approaching this beautiful time of gathering with family and friends. There's many other ways we can celebrate this time of year as well, but it's a time of gathering. And when we do that in a way where we're more connected into self, connected into spirit, we're actually gathering with so many greater aspects of self and others. Meaning your family reunion is not just your physical family there. You may be able to interpret, to intuit, to feel, your past family members and loved ones there as well, which makes for just a beautiful bounty. And an example of that is, <clears throat> excuse me, the other, the other day I was preparing a birthday meal for my mom and I was wanting to surprise her with it. And so while preparing it, I could feel my grandmother who's passed, her mom, near me hugely as I was making these traditional Ukrainian meals. And it was so much fun. Her and I, we hung out and even my daughter could feel her around, which was so beautiful. And it was just so normal. And I mean, that was my personal experience, but what Spirit is saying is because of this deeper intuitive connection to self, we're going to also be able to feel our loved ones around in these family gatherings because more and more of us are becoming more conscious. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what does this mean? This means that in the bigger picture, we are opening up so much more. We made a big leap in consciousness through the month of November collectively, right? So I've been talking individually. Collectively now though, we have made a big leap in consciousness. We really have, it wasn't easy, but we did. And so we're seeing the fruits of those labor, uh, labors um, through December. Now, another thing I want to talk about too, that if you guys miss this, it is in cosmic consciousness and it's about time expansion. So another thing that's happening because we're becoming more intuitive, we're becoming higher vibratory, we're starting to step out of the limitation of 3D reality into the expansiveness of four and 5D reality. We are starting to learn how to experience time expansion. And what that means is we're moving away from strictly linear time, which has a time frame from point A to point B in a linear fashion, into an expansion of time in a curvilinear way from point A to point B. So an example of that is 
if we had a measurement of time of five minutes and we move from you know zero to that five minute mark we do that in a straight line we can watch the numbers chronologically move on the timer from zero to five minutes but when we expand time we can actually expand our experience of that time by moving from that zero to that five minute mark in a curvilinear way moving meaning wave-like patterns circling back on itself turning in basically a bunch of squiggles and the way that we do that is we actually expand our consciousness in that moment of time and i've had this experience a couple times in which the time in which it would take these five minutes for say a pot to boil i actually was able to expand time and get several different things done that would normally take me longer than the five minutes to do it so that's kind of a tangible way to understand it but what you may be noticing with this understanding of time expansion is that you have moments in time where you can't believe that only three or four minutes went by or only half an hour or only an hour went by because what you really felt was a time experience of you know 10 minutes in that three minutes or an hour in that half an hour or maybe two to three hours within that one hour window notice how your experience of time is changing right now because as we move up move up in dimensional consciousness we move out of the 3d linear limitation of time because remember that every time we talk about time in the spirit world time is not time as it is here i've said that many times over spirit can be in one state of being on the other side for what we consider 20 years of our time but to them it simply is until it isn't that's it and uh, another example of that is when I had my near-death experience and I you know was only there for a time frame of 20 minutes in our linear 3d time my experience there if I tried to quantify it felt like at least almost 24 hours right it's time expansion in higher dimensions so because we're moving in a higher into a higher dimensional consciousness and because we made such a big leap in the month of November we will have experiences of time expansion so like I said you might notice that happening randomly but you can also actually go in and see if you can do it and one visual you can do is if you go into say you are like I have five minutes to get ready here I have to get all this done you go into that experience of five minutes before you start and you picture expanding your energy or your bubble so you have more room to move curvilinearly within that energetically right and see what happens it's about perception so a difference in time expansion because time is actually speeding up in our reality as well and so within that speeding up we can create more space in it uh, through time expansion so that's a really cool one now the other thing I want to mention too with December is the concept of light so again because we moved through all of this change and transformation in November we are moving into higher frequency right moving into a higher consciousness meaning more light energy more light awareness more understanding of that inner light within there will be many different references coming across your path to light notice how they show themselves notice if there's more songs on the radio that talk about light notice if there's more um, things in the news or in media that talk about light therapy um, laser type therapies solar light consciousness solar flares uh, more auroras happening um, sunspots all of that things connected to light are going to be showing themselves in tangible ways to echo the increase in consciousness that we have achieved essentially holding a higher soul frequency which can be seen as a brighter light so in an example of that is if somebody can see auras or you had an aura camera Carillion photography to take a picture of somebody's aura someone that has a higher vibrational frequency will have on average a brighter aura they just are brighter when spirit talks about how they see people they talk about the way in which they see their light and the reason why spirits are often attracted to people that have an ability to communicate is because they are brighter right so people that don't realize they are very mediumistic or psychic 
and they're like, I have all this paranormal activity and spirits find me and they see me and I don't know what's going on, they naturally have a brighter soul frequency. So spirits are attracted to that light, right? So because of everything that we've gone through in November, we have all collectively, in a very cool way, increased our light frequency. And so we will see the manifestations of that echoed by external things, like I mentioned before. So be curious about that and um, notice what you notice because it, it can be really, really interesting. You may even, Spirit showing me too, they're like a simple one too is even flickering lights. Notice if there's lights flickering around you in your home or even on the street lamps and stuff. Notice the manifestation of light. Okay, very, very cool. Very cool. Um, now, the other thing I want to say too for December is December is also going to give us a really beautiful energy with this joyful happiness to finish up some of the mending that needs to happen. And this mending, I feel, is very much connected to relationships. Um, not always romantic, but like just different relationships are really having an open platform to heal and mend. But so too have you made space within yourself for mending. And the way they're showing me mending is almost like the last final stitches when you're finishing up a project, when you're mending a piece of clothing and you finish up those last those last few stitches, that's what I'm seeing that we are mending within the month of December. So it's like a real peaceful culmination to things, again, because of all the hard work you've done. Now, the last thing I want to talk about too is with everything again, all the work that we've done, Spirit says, notice the synchronistic events that align in your path from December and into 2023. Because 2022 was a deep year of like getting in there, getting dirty and figuring things out. And because we're stepping out of that into this um, new energy, this new energy allows for synchronicities. So notice where synchronistic events fall into your path and really take advantage of it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to jump on every opportunity because it landed. You have to do it. It's more like take advantage of acknowledging every situation and then as always, consciously choose if it feels right for you at this time or not. So just because a synchronistic event comes around, it doesn't mean you have to take it. But what Spirit is encouraging you to do is to notice it, feel into it, and then choose what you want to do about it. Because synchronicities are on high to help these beautiful divine alignments come forward in your life. So if I could really wrap up the energy of December in one simple thing, I would say December is like the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a beautiful card to receive in tarot when you have put in a lot of work. When you get the Six of Pentacles means you're going to now receive beautiful bounties. It's all about the scales of balance. Another card would be the Justice card, which is scales of balance. The energetics are balancing out for you because of what you have put in. So again, I want to say a big congrats to all of you, a big, you know, pat on the back, a big hug for the accomplishments, the, the things you were willing to look into and journey through because they are paying back in equal energy for you now. So I really hope your energy is open and your hearts are open to receive that. Again, receiving in consciousness where you can still set boundaries, you can still consciously choose but you are really in this beautiful position of receiving. And so may this month be bountiful and beautiful for each and every one of you. I really wish and hope that for you all. So I will leave that with you guys. I hope that helps give uh, shine a light, if you will, uh, definitely pun intended, but shine a light on the events coming forward for you and help inspire you to keep moving forward in your journey. So thank you so much, you guys, for, um, you know, tuning in and joining me on this journey. I sure appreciate each and every one of you. I wish you a beautiful month of December in all of the ways in which you're going to celebrate. May you feel loved and held and supported. And most importantly, may you feel that you matter in the world because you absolutely do. All right, everyone, have a beautiful rest of your week and I will see you soon.